Well, air gunners, it is just way too nice to be stuck inside the studio. So we moved the studio outdoors today and we're going to talk about an air gun deal. Uh, but first, let's discuss do air gun deals actually exist? And I will say yes, sometimes. Obviously, you can get a good deal on a used air gun. But what about the new ones? Well, it seems that most air gun companies are pretty strict on their map pricing, which is minimum advertised pricing. But once each year, the market kind of swings in favor of the consumer. This is when models come in and the old ones have to go out. And oftentimes these older models are still excellent air guns. There is a prime example of this right now with the Brocock models. If you have been watching my channel, you know I've reviewed a lot of Brocock models. Air Guns of Arizona has been great in sending me models to test and to show you guys. And I'm actually really in love with what the Brocock air guns can do. As of late, we know that Brocock has come out with a new XR series, and that means the regular Brococks with the bolt actions have to go. And AOA has a spectacular deal on a couple of Brocock air guns. One includes the Brocock Commander. The Commander is discounted, and now they're also throwing in a $400, $500 Aztec scope into the mix. And I don't know about you, but whenever you get a new air gun, you almost inevitably are going to be picking up a new scope to get it rolling. So what is the difference between the new and the old? Well, when it comes down to it, not a whole lot. It comes down to whether or not you really have to have a side cocking lever or a bolt action lever, or if you want the new hammer, which has a free floating hammer in the XR, which does seem to help the trigger out just a little bit. But is it enough to pass up an excellent deal on one of the older commanders? I don't think so. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to run through this commander in 22 caliber, uh, what my testing results were, and then you can decide for yourself if it's worthwhile for you to pick up. All right, to get this review started, let's go ahead and start talking about accuracy. In the video that you're going to see right over here over my right hand shoulder, you're going to notice my 50 yard target. And to the left, you'll see my sighting shots as I go ahead and dial in the Aztec scope. You will then notice that my first five shot group at 50 yards measured 0 0.3035 center to center without really much effort. I was super pleased with this. And again, speaks volumes for the accuracy of the Brocock line. And you can see that similar accuracy play out again and again in my other reviews. This model also has the Huma regulator in it and a slingshot valve. Combined, I was able to get 47 shots, averaging about 34 foot-pounds of energy using a 25.39 grain JSB exact redesigned pellets. Chronograph testing also showed that during that 747 shot string, the Brocock Commander averaged about 770 feet per second and with a standard deviation of only 4.1 feet per second. And this again was using the factory settings. Um, you know, just like any other Brocock air gun, you're also going to be able to adjust the hammer on this as well as the regulator just to get it dialed in specifically to where you want. But I would highly suggest giving the factory settings a try because as I found out, they continuously give me excellent results. So beyond tuning the hammer spring in the Huma regular though, and just like all other Brocock models, there is also a power adjuster here that is going to adjust the port size and slow the air coming down from the, or out from the hammer and valve system into the barrel. And there's four settings there. On the high setting, I was able to get 34 foot-pounds of energy. With one click down, I was able to get 31 foot-pounds of energy then 24 foot-pounds energy. In the final stage, I was down to 16 foot-pounds of energy, which is going to be perfect for adjusting your power between outside and barnyard testing. That is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Take another one. Come yeah. I can see the trigger right is, wow. <laughs> so the trigger, the trigger itself is an easily adjustable and provides a very distinct 
first and second stage. Out of the box, I found the trigger to be just a bit heavy, just like a lot of other people. However, with a little bit of work and a little bit of adjusting, I was able to get it to between 14 and 15 ounces, which was a great spot, and the consistency was there over and over again. The one little area, one hiccup that I would like to mention is the buttstock. It does have just a little bit of wobble in it, which isn't going to affect you. Obviously, you saw the groups that I was able to shoot with this uh, air gun. But if I were to use it for bench rest, I might swap it out for a one-piece stock versus the adjustable stock that it comes with. Adjustable stock is nice because you can give it to lots of different people and allow it to adjust for that length of the pole. But if you're going to try to get the most accuracy, you might want to just swap out for another AR-15 stock. All right, so what else is great about this air gun? Well, I absolutely love the Picatinny rails, which are becoming more of an industry standard on this style of air gun, as well as the ability to add aftermarket parts. You should notice this is an AK-47 style grip, so you can swap them out. You have the AR-15 butt pad here, which like I mentioned earlier, you can swap out. I've also taken and added an aftermarket folding stock adapter to this, which I absolutely love. My favorite feature of the Brocock is though, is the build quality. This thing is built like a freaking tank, man. I wouldn't be afraid to take this rifle anywhere, lean it up against a tree, lay it on the ground, throw it in your farm truck as you work, and any of the Brocock line is going to be this way, not just the commander. It's gonna be able to take the abuse, but then continue to hold the accuracy and reward you with years of use. Well guys, that's a quick review of the Brocock Commander. Make sure you check out my other reviews of the other Brocock line that I have on my video feed. Also, please make sure to leave your comments down below. I wanna hear what your experiences are. Do you own a Brocock air gun? Have you had positive or negative experiences with it? Share it with the community. That way everyone can get a well-rounded view of just what these air guns are capable of. So until next time guys, make sure your trigger pull stays smooth and your pellets fly straight. And we'll see you here next time on the Airgun Advisor.